Have you ever wondered about the future of renewable energy and where green hydrogen fits into this picture? As the world moves towards sustainability, we're seeing a shift from traditional energy sources to renewable ones. Solar and wind power are already making significant strides, but there's a growing need for alternative solutions that can complement these sources and address their limitations. Enter Green Hydrogen, a promising new player in the renewable energy arena. Green hydrogen is created using renewable energy, unlike traditional hydrogen which is derived from fossil fuels. It provides clean power for various industries and its only byproduct, water. This energy source is seen as a vital component in achieving the ambitious goals set out in the Paris Agreement, especially in sectors that are hard to decarbonize. But before we delve deeper into the potential of green hydrogen, we need to understand what it is. To understand the role of green hydrogen, we need to first understand what it is. Green hydrogen isn't a term you hear every day, so what exactly is it? Well, in the simplest terms, green hydrogen is hydrogen fuel produced using renewable energy rather than traditional fossil fuels. Now you might be thinking, isn't all hydrogen the same? And on a molecular level, you would be correct. But it's the process of how hydrogen is created that defines whether it's green, blue, or gray. Let's dive a bit deeper. The most common method of producing hydrogen today is through steam methane reforming, a process that unfortunately results in carbon dioxide emissions. This type of hydrogen is often referred to as gray hydrogen. Meanwhile, blue hydrogen is produced in a similar fashion, but with a twist. The carbon dioxide produced is captured and stored, making it a cleaner alternative. Then we have green hydrogen. This is where renewable energy enters the picture. Green hydrogen is produced through the electrolysis of water using renewable power. This process separates water into its basic elements, hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is captured, leaving the only byproduct as oxygen. So it's a win-win. We get a source of clean fuel, and the environment doesn't suffer from harmful emissions. Green hydrogen is seen as a promising solution, especially in sectors that are difficult to decarbonize. Its potential reaches far beyond just being a clean energy source. It's versatile and can be stored for extended periods, which is a significant advantage over other forms of renewable energy that often struggle with storage issues. But, like all innovations, it's not without its challenges. Handling and transporting hydrogen safely requires careful consideration due to its highly reactive nature. Moreover, the high cost of fuel cells needed to utilize hydrogen can be a hurdle. Despite these challenges, the prospects of green hydrogen are too promising to ignore. Efforts are underway to improve these issues and promote the use of green hydrogen as a key player in achieving the goals of the Paris Agreement. Now that we understand what green hydrogen is, let's explore how we produce it. Producing green hydrogen involves a fascinating process. Would you like to know how it works? Let's delve into the science behind it. The production process of green hydrogen revolves around an interesting phenomenon called electrolysis. Don't worry, we're not going back to high school chemistry. We'll keep it simple and fun. Imagine you have a water molecule, H2O. This molecule is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Now in electrolysis, we're going to break this molecule apart using electricity and some smart science. To do this, we use an electrolyzer, a device that splits water into its constituent elements, hydrogen and oxygen. It does this by running an electric current through the water. This current is supplied by renewable energy sources like wind or solar power, hence the term green hydrogen. Now, picture a science experiment. You have a container full of water, and you insert two electrodes into it. When you switch on the power, you'll see bubbles forming around the electrodes, these bubbles are hydrogen and oxygen gases, the split elements of water. This is electrolysis in action. The hydrogen gas produced is then captured and stored for use as fuel. The oxygen is often released into the atmosphere, but it can also be captured and used in other industrial processes. The beauty of this process is that it's clean. There are no harmful byproducts, no carbon emissions. The only byproduct is water, which can be recycled back into the process. But it's not all roses. There are challenges such as the high cost of electrolyzers and the need for a continuous supply of renewable electricity to make the process efficient and viable. Despite these challenges, the potential of green hydrogen is immense. It's abundant, storable for long periods, and versatile in its uses. And the best part, it's key to achieving a sustainable carbon-free future. 
So we have green hydrogen produced using renewable energy, but what makes it advantageous? Green hydrogen holds several advantages that make it a promising component of our renewable energy future. Let's delve into some of those advantages. First off, we have abundance. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. It's everywhere. In the air we breathe, in the water we drink, and in the organic matter that makes up much of our planet. This means that we have a virtually limitless supply of raw material to produce green hydrogen. Next up, we have storage. Unlike some forms of renewable energy such as wind or solar, green hydrogen can be stored for long periods. This means it can be produced when conditions are most favorable, stored and then used when needed. It can be compressed, liquefied or even stored in solid form, making it a highly versatile energy carrier. Talking about versatility, green hydrogen is not just versatile in terms of storage, it's also incredibly flexible in its uses. It can be used to generate electricity, to power vehicles, and to heat homes. It can also play a key role in industries that are hard to decarbonize, such as steel and cement production, where it can replace fossil fuels. Moreover, green hydrogen is clean. Its production via electrolysis uses renewable energy and water, and its only byproduct is water vapor when used in fuel cells. This makes it a zero-emission energy source, aligning with the goals of the Paris Agreement to combat climate change. Lastly, green hydrogen is safe. While it is true that hydrogen is flammable, when handled correctly, it is no more dangerous than other common fuels. In fact, it has a higher ignition energy than gasoline, and it disperses quickly in the air, reducing the risk of accumulation. Of course, like any emerging technology, green hydrogen isn't without its challenges. It requires significant energy to produce, and there are issues around transportation and infrastructure. But the potential benefits are driving a wave of innovation and investment aimed at overcoming these hurdles. With these advantages, green hydrogen has the potential to revolutionize the renewable energy sector. With all its benefits and the urgent need for renewable energy solutions, where does green hydrogen stand in the energy sector? Green hydrogen is not just a buzzword in scientific circles, but a beacon of hope for a sustainable future. It is produced using renewable energy, which makes it a clean and environmentally friendly source of power. The best part? Its only byproduct is water, thus leaving no carbon footprint behind. Currently, most of the hydrogen we use comes from steam methane reforming, a process that unfortunately emits carbon dioxide. However, the production of green hydrogen through water electrolysis using renewable energy sources is a game changer, promising a cleaner and greener alternative. Green hydrogen is seen as a pivotal player in achieving the ambitious goals of the Paris Agreement, particularly in sectors that are hard to decarbonize. Its abundance, long storage life and versatility in usage make it a promising candidate for a variety of applications, from powering industries to fueling vehicles. But like any other emerging technology, green hydrogen comes with its share of challenges. The handling and transportation of hydrogen require careful management, and the cost of fuel cells is currently quite high. Despite these hurdles, efforts are underway to improve and promote the use of green hydrogen. Research and development are in full swing to make green hydrogen economically viable and more accessible. The potential of green hydrogen in the renewable energy sector is immense. It is not just another energy source, but an opportunity to transform the way we produce and consume energy. It represents a significant step towards a sustainable future where our energy needs are met without compromising the health of our planet. The road ahead may be challenging, but the promise of green hydrogen is too great to ignore. As we continue to innovate and solve the challenges we face, green hydrogen may just be the key to a sustainable energy future.